hi everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Laura and welcome to my vlog um I want to say is um happy belated new year's to everyone I hope that everyone's new year's will be filled with a lot of prosperity a lot of peace even though we're going through a lot of uncertain times no matter what part of the world you come from and and in my part of the world is no exception you know we're a midst of changes here in the states and it's a little bit of a rough time that everyone is going through but i will pray that um those changes become peaceful and people will come together and um, meet each other halfway um, to work thing work the issues out with them you know within the groups that are you know out there protesting um, but other than that I am hopeful that things become more calm in the future um, I had to take a couple of weeks off from vlogging and whatever else because um, you know we've gotten you know I've gotten very overwhelmed I felt burnt out actually and I didn't know what direction I wanted to take the channel um, you know the first video of the year so I just needed a time out um, last year you know it was the midst of the pandemic started I was sick and I got sick twice in you know two different issues between COVID and then plus I have a, a condition that unfortunately this year I will get more um, evaluated for um, but you know I am also you know going through personally um, struggles within my family you know with my children making sure my younger son he stabilizes regarding to his education which thank god he has been doing tremendous work and his grades has been consistent so i thank god those things are working out for him and then working with my older son you know his struggles that he's going through personally i'm trying to stay focused and give him a lot of positivity and it's not easy you know because we have a lot of challenges to go through and even myself i um unfortunately you know the pandemic is still real here in new york city and unfortunately cases are still rising in my state and um, jobs have been very difficult um, I've been trying to apply in different places and unfortunately you know I'm still struggling as a single mom and going through my personal challenges um, you know trying to stay afloat and um, hopefully you know I pray every single day that something will pan through for me and um but also at the same time you know when you're going through a lot of stresses and you know triggers of the world it pretty much brings you down and i know i'm going through that i became very overwhelmed you know going from one hurdle to another hurdle to another hurdle and then with the holidays coming around that you know i had you know my best friend here again and um you know giving myself out a lot energy energetically last year and i am still you know was trying to recover from other things going through personally i felt myself very worn out and i said well I need to take a time out I mean I I had done a video for um, the holidays about self-care during the holidays and I decided to take my own advice and do a lot of self-care for myself I became very overwhelmed I started to get very depressed I started crying every single day 
not understanding why these things were happening to me and I really was trying really hard to understand because you know when I first started this channel um, I was doing it with the purpose of you know putting myself out there and sharing my personal stories of you know overcoming obstacles and and um, overcoming bad relationships and so last year by all these things happening plus the purging it just wore me out and I've gotten to a point that I just didn't know what else I can do for my you know like to put out there and so I was just like I needed to get that time out to reassess and 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 think about what I want to do and also give myself that love and care for myself to say you know what you need to put some priorities into perspective because I throughout my life I tend to overextend myself when it comes to sharing my myself my energies my my thoughts with people and um, and it became very overwhelming and I guess by going through what I went through last year because I lost my job I personally am you know like I mentioned a little bit before I'm going through the struggles of trying to find a new job and and it, it left me thinking about about setting being selective that's the not the, the word I was looking for is being selective I had to learn with everything that I went through last year and years before I have to learn to be selective and how I share my energies with people and um, and it's not easy it's not easy because I'm I'm an uh, empath and I have a tendency to to hear things from people and when I do hear their struggles and their emotions I feel every single thing that they go through and when I do feel those things my first instincts are to help somebody right off the bat with no questions asked and you know I have been doing that for a very long time and me going through a lot of things that I've been going through personally I really have 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 and have yeah let me get that correct I have to figure out how to stop myself doing that <laughs> I um I you know took a step back and I had to evaluate myself and say you need to stop doing it you need to be selective in how you give out your energies and I you know when the beginning of you know January started I pretty much shut down from everybody and I'm still shut down because I haven't exactly like overextended myself towards people and I'm not saying you know people shouldn't you know people should be antisocial that's not the you know the premise of this video no I don't think you should be antisocial but it's okay to take a step back and refocus within yourself to to put that shield of protection and give yourself that time out because 
with things that things are going through this world we are being sucked <laughs> people who are empathic we are tending to overextend our energies and we are being sucked dry and so unfortunately with my case I had to take a step back and say well I need time for myself and recharge myself and refocus on what I want to do and my priorities for my family and priorities for myself as an individual I um, started you know like disconnecting myself a, a, li a lot more on Facebook because I feel like I had to give myself a break. I've seen too many things, you know, discussions between people and a lot of anger, hostility towards each other, even amongst friends. And it's very heartbreaking. It's very heartbreaking to see because once you were friends and family and when it comes to the politics of this world I've seen people change really quick and distancing themselves from each other and not showing that unconditional love towards each other and all I'm seeing is a lot of misunderstandings and I um, decided to pull myself out of that because I feel that it's not worth losing yourself as a person into other people's ideas. I think it's important is to take a step back within yourself and refocus what's important. What's important for yourself, what's important for your family, what's important to keep your mental stability together. And I I'm learning how to do that and I'm learning how to stop overextending myself because when I see people in pain I automatically I jump in and I want to help them and, and and a lot of times you know I don't even get a thank you and that hurts so it that tells me that I have to give myself that that love more to say you know what time to be selective pick and choose what you want to help you know it's okay to help but it's also not okay is to let yourself run ragged and have people use you or you let people use you and leave you no, nothing in return and I don't mean by like all and anything monetary but at least to be there for you as a friend or um, show that unconditional love back to you that's where I'm at right now I'm at, at learning how to build those boundaries with myself and with others. I love my family, I love my friends, and I will try to be there for my family, as you know, all of you <laughs> or my family knows how I am. I will always be there for you. But I will be selective on the type of people that I'm going to let in in my life. And in what way they're going to use me. Because I'm not letting anybody just railroad me. Because what they feel at the moment. It's a hard lesson to learn. It's a hard lesson to learn and... Um, it's something that I'm going through right now. And I don't want you to take away this video as, you know, like I said, being antisocial and being angry or, cause I'm not angry. I really am not angry. I just needed to take a step back and think about who I am as 
Laura as the individual who was learning to grow. And, and focus what's important for me in my future, for myself, and for my family. And I would advise you is to stay positive. Stay positive. Don't let the negativities of this world bring you down because at the end of the day you are here to help others in different ways I don't care what part of the world you come from because believe me I'm not a rich person I don't come from money I might live in New York City but I grew up poor and I know what it is to struggle. I'm a person that I have no shame to say, yes, I've been struggling. And why I'm crying now is because I'm not ashamed. I'm not ashamed. But I want you guys to know that I'm being honest. So, you know, you, I want you guys to be inspired to say, yeah, I could get out of this situation, whatever situation you're in. I don't care whether you are living in a very poor environment or that you are living in a in a very messed up environment that safety is becoming a, an issue for you or you're sick and not sure the how you, you're going to make it through the next day we all have to learn to get through those moments and move forward in positivity. Right now, like I told you, I'm not working. I have chronic illness. I had overcome a lot of negative obstacles in my life. From abusive relationships to crappy jobs that didn't see any value in me and letting people step over me because you know when they see me they see is oh she's a Latina she's uneducated I'm sorry I might not have a big degree sitting behind me showing the title that I've earned in my life. But I am very resilient and I'm, I'm smart. And I want to inspire each and one of you to be the best version of yourself to say, you know what? If she could put herself out there, so can I. I could keep my, pushing myself forward. So be selective with the people you choose to be with to be selective on how you want to live your life that's what the message I want to bring out is be selective because you're the one who is going to make those changes and you can make those changes within yourself and inspire others to make those changes too don't let anybody doubt you. And I'm surely I'm not going to let anybody doubt me. So I pray that everyone has, you know, a safe day. 
I'm gonna end the video because I think <laughs> I started crying I, I I went all over the place on this video but you know that the message is that I want you guys to self-love yourselves think about those choices that you want to accomplish in your life and find the way to motivate yourselves to accomplish those goals in your life and the main topic is be selective and how you're gonna accomplish and what way you're gonna interact with people and what way you're gonna build up those boundaries I will see you soon in my next video and anybody who sees my video please 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 I'm gonna ask you if you see this on YouTube and you're new to the channel please subscribe I know I have a lot of followers on Facebook and they, and I'm starting to see those followers please subscribe to YouTube on my channel I will greatly humbly appreciate it and please give the video a like any of the videos you see on my on my channel please give it a like and if you feel that somebody might be benefiting on seeing my contact you could please share too and I will see you soon in my next video again stay true to yourself we're gonna get through this bad times we are we are all right have a great day Bye.